Welcome to Dead Voice Corner, and today we are going to install Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 through Steam. Instead of uh, the flat image, uh, I was uh, testing out um, uh, the flat image with it, and there was uh, a few problems I was noticing, like gamepad wasn't working, and you couldn't launch it in game mode it was you could only launch them in desktop mode so we're just going to do it the conventional method anyway let's get right into it so as we are at the desktop the first step what we're going to do is we are going to open up dolphin and then just go into our downloads and then we're going to mount an iso if you don't have a way to mount an ISO, it's pretty easy. All you just do is go to this menu, go to configure, configure Dolphin, context menu, download new services, and then just type in ISO. Yours will either, like the one that I use is either at the top for you, but for my case, it's at the bottom because uh, I'm using a catchy OS. This is the one that I use, mount slash unmount by uh, Tazihad. It's a pretty decent one. And then once that's installed, you'll have this nice little menu where you can mount and unmount an ISO image. So we're just going to mount it like this. And now we go into Steam. And then we're just going to browse to where it is. Go to our setup.exe and we're going to add it as a non Steam game. And then we're just going to type in uh, setup. Going to go to properties and we're going to select compatibility to run it in compatibility. Now, the thing with this installer is it needs Windows XP 64 bit. Because if you have it on a newer version of Windows, if it's not running in like compatibility, it will say this op this operating system is not adequate for running Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. And then we'll press finish on that, and then that, sh and then we'll close out of it. And now we open up Proton Tricks. And then we're just going to browse to where our setup.exe prefix is, which in my case, it's right here. And just wait for this to load. And da -da 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 -da. and select default prefix then we're going to go into wine config and then we're going to set it to windows xp 64. just like that and we're going to press apply and press ok and then we're going to close out of that because that part is done now we can rerun the setup file and this time we can actually go through the install process. Just wait for it to load. Yep, there we go. Press next. Next. Accept the EULA and press next. And then for this, I'm going to put in um, organization they could be anything uh, ligma and we're gonna generate a CD key which I will have the link for this generator in the description with the ISO and everything else what we're gonna be using party mod and the control mod. So yeah, this serial number looks cool. 
and then for change, um, I like to put it in uh, my my games directory. So I'm going to use the internal drive. That's what Z would be. And then I'm going to go home. Deck. Games. And then THPS4. Just so I'll easily be able to find it. And then I'm going to press next. And then it's going to install onto there. And this is going to take a little while, so just give it some time. I'm going to pause it. Once it finishes copying the files, it's going to prompt to install GameSpy Arcade. For this case, we're not going to. So we're just going to press exit on that and then press finish. And press stop. Now, for uh, the next step, uh, I kind of messed up when I was making this ISO. So we're going to go into program files in the ISO, go into Pro Skater 4, and then we're going to copy the video files because the installer doesn't uh, open them. So we'll just go into our THPS4 directory, just like this. And then see how it doesn't have video files, but in the installer it does. So we're just going to copy these. So we'll copy that, paste that. Those are selected, copy those, paste those, and then it should just be these last three are the only other ones that we need to copy. So we'll paste those. And now once that's done, we can go back to where our ISO is. And then we can unmount it because we no longer need the image mounted. Okay, so for the next step, we'll go into party mod and we're just going to copy all these files and just place them in our THPS4 directory in the game directory. Just paste like this. And then we go into Steam. And then we're just going to change it to where we have the game installed. So for my case, it's my games folder in my home directory, THPS4, and then the game folder. And then for browse, we're going to go party patcher, because we're going to be patching this EXE, the skate for EXE. Put some quotes uh, in between the target to get it to actually launch. And then we press play on that. And then it says patching skate 4, creating thps4.exe, patch successful, press any key to continue. So now that that's done, we'll go into browse. And then now that there's that thps4.exe, we're going to go into party config first. So we'll go there and just like that. Now we're going to run the party config. Uh, for some reason, um, when it tries to default uh, open in full screen, it kind of freezes. So I found uh, putting it in windowed mode makes it so it can actually load into the game, which is an interesting bug. But now once that's done, we can go into THPS4. And then we'll rename this Tony Hawk's Pro. 
Gator 4. And then now we can press play and it will run the game with the party mod. So we have controller support, but we have keyboard button prompts. So this is the last thing what we're going to fix. So we'll just quit out of that. And then we're going to go back into our directory. And then this time we're going to go into our data directory. And then I'm going to open up a new tab and go into the game pad prompts. And for this one, uh, I'm going to use an Xbox controller. And then we're just going to drag that into the fonts, apply, and overwrite, just like that. And now, I believe when we have it open, it should actually pop up Xbox prompts this time. just like that. And now we uh, have the prompts. And the game works. I think the last thing what we can do is if you have a decky loader, we can go into the Hydra mode and uh, use um, the plugin for Decky Loader, which is um, a Steam Grid DB. And if you have that installed, you can just set the uh, artwork. I'll go with this one. Uh, yeah, this one looks good. And yeah, we'll go with this one. And then, yeah, I like this one. And yeah, I like this one. And then we'll just restart Steam. And now once uh, Steam is open, we can go into Pro Skater 4 and we have all our artwork. Go into Gamepad, make sure that that's set, uh, yep. And just like that. Anyway, that is how to set up Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 on uh, Steam Deck slash Linux with party mod, uh, controller prompts, and I think theoretically OpenSpy might also work for online multiplayer, it's just um, whenever you install it, uh, just make sure that you generate a new CD key anyway. Uh, thanks for watching the video if you uh, stuck through it, and uh, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you disliked the video for some reason, give it a dislike. Any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Uh, I have a Discord that I will pin as a comment, and all the links for this stuff will be in the description. Uh, subscribe, and thanks for uh, stopping at Dead Boy's Corner. Peace.